guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Marvel Legends Power Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. Let's get right into it, but before we do, if you do and I'm enjoying this video, don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might like it. Let's do this. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start out with the really cool thing about this gauntlet, the Infinity Stones. So there are four Infinity Stones here, one here, and then one on this part of the hand, the Time Stone. And one of the really, really cool things about this is the cover. See this little part right here? It comes off, and it reveals um, a little battery port. And you're probably thinking, why is the battery port cool? Well, because the batteries actually play a very big part in this gauntlet. It's nothing like that gauntlet that you see up there. You can kind of see the bottom of it, but my tripod is, you know, kind of too tall to get the entire thing. But, by the way, there is a, usually a little another thing that you have to screw off here, but I feel like there's no reason to put that on. Just because I feel like it's too much of a hassle and the cover kind of does it itself. The cover is kind of hard to get back on, um, but you kind of get the feel for it. But, um... This is what happens if you move a finger or press this button. I'm going to press the button. As you guys see, it lights up. Now, that is super cool. That's one of the main reasons I like the Marvel Legends ones instead of those um, and that one. Um, but that shape I just did with my hand is actually a shape that triggers a special sound. So, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wait. Okay, apparently it's not that shape. Okay, you, you had to have the phone down. So, that almost sounds kind of like a snap, I guess. Um, this one, if you make the snapping position, you get this. So, but it sounds kind of like the snap from Avengers Endgame, but I don't know. If you make a fist, you get this. So, you get that really epic sound. And I think there's like a breathing effect on the stones. Now, I saw a video that said if you turn off the gauntlet like this, like that, and then you hold this down to turn it on, and like until it comes on, um, then the, the breathing effect will stop. Um, but I've never tested that out. You guys can test that out on your own if you want to. <clears throat> but this is a really cool gauntlet. Yeah, I would suggest it. It's about $100. We got it for like 80 I think. Um, we got that one for about a hundred. I paid for that one myself. Um, that those gauntlets are about twenty. Um, so th those are decently cheap. That's why I got those. Um, because I didn't really know if I was like that into Avengers yet when I was first getting those. But let's get back into the review. So this thing is really cool. And oh, and here's another shape you can do. You can just pull these two fingers down. Now, people say there's a voice in that one. Um, now, you guys can comment down below if you heard anything. But all I hear is, and then it goes, and that's it. I just hear like a little, like, and that's literally it. That's all I hear. I don't hear any sort of voice or anything. And if you pull the thumb down, you get this. That kind of sounds like, um, kind of like a time stony kind of thing. But one of the really cool things about this gauntlet is the design so i'm gonna turn the stones off so you guys can you know see a little bit better but notice like there's all these little wires and everything and that is really cool then you got on the space stone we got some more wires connecting it to what seems to be a whole bunch of wires connecting into the mind stone and then this stuff this is not in the box for some reason it just shows red all in here i guess they just hadn't updated the box model um and there's, of course, design all around the back. And these things are really soft and cool feeling. Um, that's what the hand looks like. So this is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. This is the side. And this is the other side. This is what it looks like if it's pointing right at you. And then this is what the inside looks like. You can see there's little rings that you pull to move the fingers. Um, and what was that other thing I was going to say about it? Okay, guys. So basically, the other thing I was going to say is... They they did so much effort on this that they actually decorated the insides. See all these wires? 
I thought it was really cool that they actually decorated the inside of the battery port. Because there's literally no reason to do that. Because you're not usually going to have the battery port off. Um, but yeah, overall it's a really cool thing. But um, since, since you guys watched to the end of this video, don't click off. Because I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Okay guys, so this is a homemade power orb that I made. That usually would hold the power stone. I know it doesn't look exactly like the real one, but this is the best I could do. Um, this is just a real red ball. It used to just be a little red ball, but I painted it blue and then put some specks on it. Even though I'm pretty sure the real one doesn't have any white specks, but it still looks pretty cool. And in the movie, if you opened this, you would get this. Let me put that back. Okay. You would get the little power stone this thing is a magnetic toy from a while ago by a while ago I, I think maybe like mid or like sometime in the 2000s or before um i don't know but these came with like a little magnet um i don't know like where like these came from but they're still pretty cool um if you drop them hard enough they actually come apart and show the magnet and another really cool thing is here's the space stone i think i actually got this from colorado so, this is just a little crystal, and I thought it looked like the Tesseract, so I was like, oh, well, that's cool. And I, you know, was like, oh, let's do the Space Stone then. And this, um, Space Stone is just made out of blue Play-Doh, because the magnet set didn't come with a blue one. Um, that's sad. But, um, this one is just made out of blue Play-Doh. It's a little bit smaller than this one, because I couldn't get it exact. Um, but this one is also really cool. I'm going to put it on my table, and I'm going to keep this one in hand. Something really cool is next. This is supposed to be the Aether or whatever from Thor the Dark World. Um, I did really bad on it. These little papers are just painted red and it's supposed to look like liquid from like the movie. Because remember it was liquid. Um, then you got the Reality Stone, which is one of the magnets. Now the reason these magnets are so cool is because they stick together. So you can have like two Infinity Stones stuck together. Of course the blue one, the Space Stone, won't go with it. But, it's still pretty cool, I was thought, I, I thought. Um, next is the Soul Stone. It's made out of Play-Doh too. Again, that one does not connect to anything, just like the blue one. So these are the only two made out of Play-Doh. The rest are made out of that magnet stuff or whatever. Um, oh, and then I have this. This is supposed to be the Eye of Automoto from Avengers. Um, so basically this is what it would look like closed. So this is like Doctor Strange stuff. So this is what it would look like closed. I know this looks really bad. Like, it's not even, like, a good design on it. But I did the best I can. This thing is made out of paper. Like, you know, there's not much you can do with paper. But, um, if it was open, it would look like this. So all you gotta do is turn it around. And then put your head in it. And then you see this little, there's a little yellow stuff. That would be when the time stone was exposed. Um, I wish there was a way to actually put the time stone in. Also, I probably should have just bought something like this off of Amazon or eBay. But, you know, I like to do things the hard way. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is the Tom Stone. This one, let me see if I can crack it open. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I wasn't able to get this one open, but I am going to try the Reality Stone. Okay, guys, I couldn't get the Reality Stone open either, but if you open them, there's just a small little cool magnet inside, so I just thought that was pretty cool. Now, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys, these all stick together, so that's pretty cool. So that is, I believe, five, yeah, five so far. Now... We have the scepter from, um, I believe just Avengers. I don't really know. Yeah, I think from the first Avengers movie, Loki used this. Um, this is just made out of like that s snake stuff, like Rubik's snake or whatever people call it. Um, and I just made a little scepter thing out of it and I stuck a, one of those yellow magnets in it, um, for the Mind Stone. And I thought that was, um, pretty cool. But, um, and then this one is magnet too, luckily. So then you can just have four of these. You gotta be very careful because there's a lot of weight on it at this point. Um, and then I guess you could just like show the other ones right here. So that's all the Infinity Stones. And I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to hold them all in one hand. That's what they all look like together. They're really cool. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might like it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.